Hello all, today in this video, I am going to provide details regarding an open access journal which is indexed in Scopus. I am just moving this journal preview from the Scopus preview page. So if you are taking this journal at some other time means, please check whether this journal is indexed in Scopus at that time. Since you may know that in every indexing, the journal will get discontinued from time to time. The journal which we are going to have a look today is Journal of Information Systems Engineering and Management which is an open access journal and its site score is 1.3 and its percentile is 17% and it is going to cover subjects related to information systems and it has published nearly 113 documents within the year uh, 2020-23. So its Scopus coverage years is still 2025. So publisher you may notice subject area it is computer science information system. Already in the uh, number of documents published per year that is within 2020 to 23. We just saw nearly 113 documents has been published. So here if you notice means uh, uh, the only less number of documents is published by this journal. Uh, then we can move to the uh, home page of the journal. So this is the home page of the journal. So if you are having any doubts whether this is the original home page of the journal means at that time you can just move to the authors published in that journal and uh, kindly pick an author and just move to Scopus author indexing. In that case if the author is indexed in Scopus means you can confirm that this is the original journal which you are searching for. So here they have given it is an quarterly journal. And uh, since it is an open access journal, uh, it is having some payment too. So we can just first move to the open access policy. So here they have given it is an open access, which means all content is freely available without charge to uh, this uh, all authors and for author session we can just move and uh, we can check with the publication fee and here they have given that for regular review the base uh, the fees is this and for that also they are making the charges as six pages so if you are having any additional pages means for that the payment may increase with each extra page so this is the details regarding this journal then we can move to the archive session. So in 2024, if you see means nearly four issues has been published. So we can just check with 2025. In 2025, I am just moving with the issue one. Uh, so I am moving because to just see the article history. Uh, mostly in many open access journals, they will share the article history. Uh, this will show that um, uh, the submission details like when the article is submitted, uh, when it is reviewed uh, and when it is published and all. Based on that we can make a conclusion that how many approximate dates the uh, journal will take from submission to publication. This is just an approximation because sometimes it may change. And, uh, and some journals will not queue so we shall just check whether they have given here if you notice means uh, they have given the history that it is received in october 2024 accepted within one month we can just check with another article also whether uh, it is uh, same for uh, every article uh, journals uh, sorry every papers because this may change also based on the availability of the reviewers and submission of the revised manuscript so i'm just checking with another article here also dates is not very much uh, a difference so it is taking only one month for acceptance so this is the details regarding this journal i'm just sharing the overview of this journal so if you are interested in this journal means please check the journal link which we have shared in the description box thank you